Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts and in today's video we will be discussing Entity Relationship Diagram, ER Diagram. ER model is a framework used in database design. It is used to represent the structure of a database. It looks something like this. It will help you in understanding the structure of the database. So it has tables, these are entities, student course, we will understand all these different terms one by one but I just wanted to show you all how an ER model looks like. So ER model is used to represent the structure of the database, how the database will look, what all tables do we have and how are they related to each other. There are three major components of an ER model. So those are entities, attributes and relationships. So as you can see over here, ER model consists of entity, attribute and relationship. Entity could be any real world object, student, employee, etc. So this would be your table name, students, employees. Attribute is properties or characteristics. So age, address, mobile number, etc. So these, you can consider these as the columns in the table. So these are attributes. Entity is any real world object. Attribute is any characteristic of these entities. Relationship, it defines how different entities are related to each other. So if we have two entities, let's say student and department, so how are they related to each other? How are these two tables related? So that comes under relationship. There are three types of relationships. One to one, one to many, many to many. In one to one relationship, each entity in one table is related to only one entity in the other table. So let's say these are our two tables. One is employee and the other table is passport table. Passport number and passport details is in this table and all the employee data is in this table. What is the relation between employee table and the passport table? It is one to one because each employee can have only one passport, one passport number. In such cases, we will have one to one relationship. A second type of relationship is one to many. Let's consider this as teacher table and this as student table. One teacher can teach many students. But each student will have only one teacher for a particular course. Let's say teacher A is teaching two students. But those students can have only one teacher for a particular course. A student cannot have two, three teachers for a single course, for a single subject. And here is our third type of relationship which is many to many. Multiple entities in one table can be associated with multiple entities in the other table. So let's say student and courses. Different students can apply for multiple courses. Let's say student A has enrolled for two courses, data analytics and AI. Student B has enrolled for two courses, AI and mathematics. So multiple students can enroll for multiple courses and and each course can have multiple students as well. Four types of attributes, simple, composite, derived, multi-valued. Simple attribute, as the name suggests, it is a simple attribute like name, name of the employee, name of the student. Second one is composite. Composite attribute is an attribute which is made out of other attributes. For example, address. It could be made of three other attributes, let's say postal code, nearest location, street, house number, all of these different attributes would combine together to make one single attribute which is address. So address would, would be called as composite attribute. Derived attribute would be attribute which is derived from another attribute. Let's say age. Age can be derived from from the attribute date of birth. From date of birth, you can find out age. So that would be considered as derived attribute. Multi-valued attribute means an attribute which can have multiple values. Let's say mobile. A single employee, a student can have multiple mobile numbers. This is very important. These are different shapes and what they signify. So a rectangle signifies entity. Lips signifies attribute. Diamond would mean relationship. A single line can be used to connect these different enti entities and attributes, these relationships. Double ellipse can be considered as multi-valued attributes. 
double rectangle can be considered as weak entity weak entity means an entity which is dependent on another entity that would be considered as a weak entity this is a very simple example of an er diagram so we have two entities over here in rectangle student and course and these are the attributes the student has three attributes id name and age course has two attributes course id and course name and these are connected via a line and there is a diamond in between which would signify a relationship in this case study a stu student studies a course and you can also we can also write n and n over here which would mean that there is a many to many relationship between student and course student can apply for multiple courses and course can have multiple students which is why we have a many to many relationship between student and course this is all about entity relationship diagram i hope this video was helpful and if it was please make sure to subscribe to the channel check out our dbms playlist and also rest of the playlist on the channel we have sql playlist we have python java a lot of different playlist on the channel do check it out and with that i will end this video thank you so much for watching